What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Hunter and today it is currently snowing once again outside. Uh, but other than that, today's gonna be a very good day. So I know I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks and I'll get into the reason why here just in a second. So, uh, yes, uh, I have not uploaded in a couple weeks because of one, my, my roommate got quarantined. We couldn't, no, my roommate got COVID. I'm sorry, my roommate got COVID. We we had the quarantine. We weren't allowed to leave the house. We weren't really able to do anything. So it was really just the most boring week of my life. And then right as soon as we got our COVID, Ohio decided to uh, just snow for no reason. Just snow. And we had at least 10 inches. And I know up east, uh, east of Ohio, we they got around 20 to 25 inches. So it was they hit they they got hit really really bad there. But uh. Everything kind of smoothed over, smoothed over right now, but uh, it did start snowing again, so I don't know how this is going to go. I heard we're supposed to get around 4 to 7 to 8 inches, something around by 7 o'clock or something, and it's currently 1.33. So we have a little bit of time, but uh, we did go out of state last week. We did go out of state, I believe, Friday night. We went up to Virginia and came back Saturday, Saturday night. That was the hardest drive of my life. We got off work around 6.30. Uh, left around seven. Uh, we drove there from here to for for to New Nor to Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia. I, I bought something in Norfolk, Virginia that I've wanted for so long. I've had my eye on this for so long. It's the honestly the reason why I've gotten into the cars. I love cars. Cars are my passion. Uh, and this one object, this one car, is the one that started it all. Yes, you guys did hear that right. We did get a new car, and I is actually in that garage right there. Um, I'll show you guys that here in just in one second. It is my all-time dream car. It is one of my all-time dream cars, and I am so excited to show you guys it. And I know I should have uh, recorded the trip up there, but I was, it was just the worst trip ever. There was nothing to really record. We left at 7. I didn't get to the hotel room at 5.30 in the morning. Fell asleep around 6.00. Had to be up and ready at 7 in the morning to... I had an appointment to go look at the car at 7 in the morning. Got to got to uh, the dealership at 7 in the morning. And then ended up having to drive an hour and a half back to the bank to go get the deposit and everything for the car. Uh, drove an hour and a half back. Picked up the car. Got that done. We left. We appointment was at 7 o'clock in the morning. We did not leave until 2 o'clock. In the afternoon. Yes, we did not leave until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it is a 9 hour drive back home. So we drove from Norfolk, Virginia. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Left there, went to the beach. That we just hung out a couple uh, minutes there. It was way too cold at the first to do anything. So we just left. Uh, and then we drove all the way back. And it was... That's when the snow started to hit. The snow started to hit in the mountains uh, Sunday. Or actually, no, it kind of hit sun Saturday a little bit. It hit a little bit on Saturday and snowed really hard on Sunday. We got snowed out a little bit on, on the trip back, but we made it back. That was the nine-hour drive back from Norfolk, Virginia, back to Ohio. It took about nine hours. It felt like three years. It was the longest trip of my life on the way home. And I know you guys don't want to sit here and uh, listen to me talk about the whole trip and everything. I completely agree. So let's go. Let's just go show you guys the car real quick. All right, guys. So I have the car here right in front of me. Uh, as you guys didn't hear, or probably not even hear, the car is very, very quiet. So uh, we definitely got to change that, and we do maybe have an exhaust on the way for you guys. Um, so let's get right into the car for you. So this is the car, and uh, this is my 20, 2014 Mustang GT. It is not the GT Premium. Uh, I got, I didn't really, I didn't really care for the GT Premium because what I'm going to do to the car, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter about the GT Premium. Um, I could always go get the GT Premium dash so it has a little digital part, but uh, other than that, a lot of the seats, they didn't really bother me because they were going to be swapped out anyways for maybe even Recaro's or Brom seats later on in the future, but let's just get right into the car. So this is my 2014 
uh, Mustang GT. It is the it is the 5.0. We went ahead and put the summer performance tires, the NT Triple 5 G2s. Put those on. We switched them from those. These those were the stock tires, and those actually fit really well. Those are 19 by 10 and a half. So these are 20 by 10 and a half in the back and 20 by nines nine and a half in the front uh the car is very clean the car only does have uh the car only has 70,000 miles and the best thing about this car is the manual the manual transmission the tr transmission uh is basically brand new uh yep like i said the car was only driven nine 70,000 miles. Uh, it was a Texas car. There is not one ounce of rust on this whole entire car. I believe it was owned by an by a, uh, older couple. So, you know how older couples are with this four stars. They don't really take them out. They don't really do that much with them. Um, but yes, big things are coming to this car. And I'm very, very excited to show you guys and bring you guys along with the journey of the car. Uh, this is the car that really started my passion for cars. This car, uh, once I got into Mustangs, I found, I saw this Mustang and I just immediately fell in love with it. Uh, just the way it sounds, just the way it looks. The, I, I have to say this about all Mustangs. The, the sound from the 5.0 engine sounds like it should be coming from this car. This car looks and the car just looks and sounds aggressive over the uh, newer s550s they do look and sound aggressive too but i just nothing beats this body style this is the true last mustang that was made um i'm very excited to bring you guys along with the journey of the build on this car the this car huge huge plans on this car guys uh i believe on tuesday we will have the long two petters and then in the next week or so we should have the uh the full exhaust and eventually we will be upgrading the full exhaust to the force extreme axle back so just stay tuned for that we just have so much stuff going on with this car guys so just, so just make sure you just so just make sure you guys stay tuned and we'll, we'll all, we're all in this together i'm thinking honestly now that i'm looking at it the sterling gray metallic would look the best with carbon fiber inserts and the GT500 carbon fiber grill deletes from the lower and the top. Maybe even the lip right here will be carbon fiber. The side skirts will be carbon fiber. I'm honestly thinking for the calipers, we might make the calipers maybe like, maybe a bright blue or teal color. I think that would look honestly very good. And then the interior we could do uh black leather seats with a baby whatever color i decided to go with the calipers we can match that on the inside same with the shifter and uh all that stuff guys guys we are carrying on this video a couple days later uh as i was watching it back it didn't really have an outro to it so that's what i'm going to do now i'm making it for you guys um Yep, if you guys liked if you guys liked and enjoyed that video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and hopefully one day we will just keep building just keep the grind going uh the grind never stops guys so uh yep if you guys really enjoyed that video make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe uh yeah we do have a lot of stuff coming for that car uh right now the car is actually currently in the shop right now it is getting the long two patterns and then we this is just crazy stuff is going on to that car right now. Right now we're doing the full exhaust and then immediately right after when it gets back, we're gonna start lowering the car. So uh, we're on your 293, so just stay tuned for that, guys. We have a lot of big things coming for this car, so just stay tuned and I hope you guys all enjoy. Peace.